Hello and welcome to Thought for September the 24th. Our readings are 1 Chronicles chapter 7, Ezekiel chapter 20 and Luke chapter 17. And our thought is, whoever seeks to preserve his life. Those who read the Bible regularly know that the shortest verse is Jesus wept, John 11 verse 35. It occurs when Jesus comes to the tomb of Lazarus after he had been dead four days. Everyone is weeping. The two sisters of Lazarus, Mary and Martha, were there. They were grief-stricken and at the point where Jesus himself wept. But very soon there was great joy. But the second shortest verse in the Bible describes an opposite situation. It is the words Jesus said about a person who was in the process of being saved, but then wasn't. Not only was she not saved, but neither were the others in her city, except her husband and two daughters. We read it today in Luke chapter 17, verse 32. Jesus is warning about the terrible drama to occur as he returns to the earth. For the vast majority of people, this will be utterly traumatic. It is here we get the three-word verse. Jesus says, Remember Lot's wife. She was leaving Sodom reluctantly and looked back and held back. Her heart was in what was she, she was leaving behind. She refused the guiding hand of the angels, which her husband and daughters accepted. Jesus is indicating there will be some who do the same thing at the time of his return. After saying, remember Lot's wife, he adds, whoever seeks to preserve his life will lose it. What are they seeking to preserve? The things they value in this life? For their minds are centred on the abundance of things they possess. Do you remember what we read in Luke chapter 12 verse 15 just four days ago? One's life does not consist of the abundance of his or her possessions. It is intriguing that these words of Jesus about his return started when the Pharisees asked when the kingdom of God would come. Chapter 17 verse 20. His answer is, the kingdom of God is not coming with signs to be observed. It would be a situation in which people would notice his impending arrival as when he was on the back of a donkey. How little did these Pharisees really know the Old Testament prophets? They had tunnel vision on what they wanted to believe. But what about us? Suddenly the king of the kingdom will be in their midst, Jesus tells them, verse 21. For as the lightning flashes and lights up the sky from one side to the other, so will the Son of Man be in his day, verse 24. He then reminds them of the rescue of Lot. So will it be when the Son of Man is revealed. Verses 28 to 30. Reluctant believers with little oil of real faith in their lamps will suffer the same fate as Lot's wife. So let us make sure this life does not dominate our thinking. Let us top up our lamps and be ready for our King. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, knowing that Word to be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.